Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read Reading Explore Level 3, Unit 6A. The world's favorite truck. Paragraph A. It's 1.45 a.m. And 21-year-old Thomas Murphy is burning the midnight oil studying for an important engineering exam. He has at 2 o'clock in the afternoon later today. To stay awake and alert, he's had uh, two cups of coffee in the last three hours, and he's now downing a popular energy drink. When that adds two to three times the amount of caffeine as a similar-sized can of soda. Many students like Murphy as well as marathon runners, airline pilots, and long-distance travelers owe their energy to one of humankind's oldest stimulants, caffeine. Paragraph B, the power to counter physical fatigue and increase alertness is part of the reason caffeine ranks as the world's most popular mood-altering drug. It is found not only in soda, energy drinks, coffee, and tea, but in diet pills, pain relievers like aspirin, and chocolate bars. Many societies around the world have also created entire rituals around the use of caffeine. For example, there is a cafe culture of uh, France, the tea ceremony in Japan, and the morning cup of coffee or tea that marks the start of the day in many cultures. Paragraph C. Caffeine is present in many of the foods and drinks we consume, but is, but is it good for us? Charles uh, Geisler, a scientist and sleep expert at Harvard Medical School, believes that caffeine causes us to lose sleep, which he says is, a, is unhealthy. Without adequate sleep, the typical eight hours, the human body will not function at its best, physically, mentally, or emotionally. Too often, uh, Geisler says we consume caffeine to stay awake, which later makes it impossible for us to get the, the rest we need. Paragraph D. Health risks have also been tied to caffeine consumption. Over the years, studies have attributed higher rates of certain types of cancer and bone disease to caffeine consumption. Today, However, there is no proof that caffeine actually causes these diseases. Paragraph E. A number of scientists, including Roland Griffith, professor at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine in the U.S., believe that regular caffeine use causes physical dependence. Healthy caffeine users, Griffith says, exhibit similar behaviors. For example, their moods fluctuate from high to low. They get mild to severe headaches. Or they feel tired or sad when they can't have a caffeinated drink. To minimize or stop these feelings, users must consume caffeine a behavior Griffith says is characteristics of drug uh, addiction. Paragraph F. Despite these concerns, the general opinion in the scientific community is that caffeine is not dangerous when consumed in moderation. This means having one or two small cups of coffee per day. For example, furthermore, a lot of current research contradicts long held negative beliefs about caffeine and suggest that it may in fact have health benefit. For instance, studies have shown that caffeine can help ease muscle pain. Because it is, it's a stimulant, caffeine can also help improve one's mood. Research has also shown that some caffeinated drinks, especially certain teas, have disease-fighting chemicals that can help the body fight a number of illnesses, including certain types of cancer. Paragraph G. In addition, as a type of mental stimulant, 
caffeine increases alertness, memory, and reaction speed. Because it fights fatigue, it facilitates performance on tasks like driving, flying, and solving simple math problems. And while it is true that caffeine can increase blood pressure, the effect is usually temporary and therefore not likely to cause heart trouble. This is especially true if caffeine is consumed in moderation. Moreover, despite its nearly universal use, caffeine has rarely been abused. With caffeine, overuse tends to stop itself, says Jack the Bergman, a specialist at Harvard Medical School. If you consume too much, you get uncomfortable and you don't want to continue. Caffeine's behavioral effects are real, but most often mild. Getting that burst of energy, of course, is why many of the world's most popular drinks contain caffeine. Whether it's a student drinking coffee before class or a business person enjoying tea with lunch, humankind's favorite stimulant is a work every day all over the world. The end.